Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and we are here with the most awaited transit uh, video for this year. Yes, we did the Rahu Ketu transit video, but as we all know, Jupiter transits one sign every 12 months. So this transit is always the most awaited transit of the year and I'm very happy to see all the love and uh, good wishes that you have showered in the Rahu Ketu video. So upon request and popular demand, uh, we are here with the Jupiter transit video for 2022 to 2023 in the sign of Pisces. This is sidereal astrology, Vedic astrology, the sign of Pisces. All right. So. 13th of April this year, Jupiter will be entering the zodiac sign of Pisces and it shall stay until 22nd of April 2023. So April to April is this transit. So let's begin and as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit, you can always go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and before we go into the zodiac signs uh, today is the most auspicious occasion of ram navami so lord ram is one of the avatars of lord vishnu and this is a very beautiful shloka from the yuddha kanda uh, from the ramayan 18th chapter, 33rd verse. So Lord Sri Ramachandra vowed, If anyone comes to me and once says, My dear Lord, I am yours. I am taking shelter at your lotus feet. I promise for all time to come that I will never leave him. So this is a very interesting shloka from the Ramayana where Lord Rama is giving guarantee for anybody who um, requests his protection right so therefore irrespective of anything we have difficulties in life so we can always pray to Lord Sri Ramachandra that he always gives us the strength to overcome the difficulties and get over our weaknesses okay and this transit of Jupiter is happening in the sign of Pisces so therefore the sign of Pisces is the divine sign of spirituality which uh, tells us that there is a time in our life which will come inevitably for everyone. Either we are young or we are old um, where we will have to surrender everything to God, right? So surrender is beautiful if it is spiritual because that makes us uh, that reinstantiates our divine connection with god so therefore depending on your horoscope and depending on your dashas today we will see this transit uh, which should be seen from the ascendant uh, again and again people ask me this question should we see the transits from the ascendant or from the moon sign uh, well the answer was is and will always be the ascendant because the ascendant gives the physical manifestation of um, real the reality that uh, dawns uh, upon us eventually right and you could also see transits from the moon sign but that is more to understand how uh, we will perceive it at the level of the mind okay but if you're talking of things which can manifest in the reality in the physical world then we need to see it uh, from the ascendant the lagna the rising sign all right so now without any further delay let's go to the zodiac sign so we are here with aries so what's going on with aries so for aries this transit is happening in the 12th house and jupiter from the 12th will be aspecting the fourth house the sixth house and the eighth house and jupiter is also the lord of the ninth house and the 12th house right so therefore, uh, for Aries Ascendants, it's a very important time for um, higher education because the 12th house is the house where um, there is culmination of knowledge. Okay, So 12th house 
along with the fourth house and the ninth house see the fourth house is the prime house of education and the ninth house is the house of higher education okay and eighth house and twelfth house both the houses are the houses of research okay so therefore this could give you a possibility to get higher education in your life it could be masters or bachelor or even it could be bachelors uh, but uh, it's more likely that it should be either masters or phd or it could be a postdoc also depending on the work and depending on your profession or it could be some internal research that uh, you are doing within yourself right uh, or you could be doing some research as a hobby right maybe you could study astrology for example so therefore research is important meditation is important the 12th house uh, tells you that it is good to be detached and you might need to be detached sometimes right so therefore the 12th house is a very crucial house because it is also the house of expenditure right so therefore if you can see in this uh, slide i have put uh, two photos one is a person below who is meditating and the other is a group of people on the top who are having a celebration in the night right in the disco mm, so you got to understand that human life is meant for higher inquiry as the vedanta sutra says athato brahma jigyasa right so now is the time that we inquire about spiritual truths right so therefore irrespective of where we are we should aspire to go and meditate chant mantras right and by that we can elevate our consciousness and this transit for aries is a very no uh, interesting transit because the 12th lord is coming back to the 12th house so it's like the more you meditate the more you uh, are getting enlightenment right and also apart from this uh, the transit of jupiter uh, in the 12th house will also aspect the 6th house of jobs right so therefore um, the house of job is um, the house where you do things on a regular basis right and the 6th house shows daily work routine work routine repetitive work basically so now jupiter is not transiting in your 6th he is just aspecting the 6th house right so what does this mean this means that you could take a look on the things uh, from a bird's eye view perspective right you might try to see what is going on in your profession right maybe i am spending too much time there or maybe i am not spending too much time right so depending on your situation and uh, your horoscope and your mahadasha antardasha it will be decided uh, what is going on in your profession and how can you balance it out right and apart from this um, it is important that uh, we understand whenever jupiter transits either the 6th 8th or the 12th uh we may get a feeling that we need to indulge uh in too many sweets right so yeah i have seen uh, people get this tendency but uh in case you are aries lagna and you have this tendency so just be aware that now there could be situations in your life where you feel that oh i just need to keep indulging in uh, sweets and desserts right uh, but that may not be in your best interest in interest in the long run right and also uh, if you are having any stomach issues or any liver problems specifically then uh, you could uh, go and have a check with your doctor now i'm not saying that you are going to have a liver problem here uh, but you want need to understand that jupiter is the natural significator of uh, good health and jupiter signifies the liver right so the liver has more than like you know hundreds of functions in the body so Uh, just make sure that you do not eat food foods which stuff your liver and uh, do not uh, damage your health all right so apart from this take to spirituality and do meditation and by this you will realize that in no time you are able to become more spiritually elevated all right thank you aries and wish you all the best so now we go to the zodiac sign of taurus So for Taurus, it's like a person smiling. Why? Because uh, this transit of Jupiter is happening in the eleventh house. Well, and then from the eleventh, it aspects the third, the fifth, and the seventh, right? And for Taurus, Jupiter is the lord of the eighth and the eleventh house itself. So now, 
there's one word answer for this transit what is that well it's the first point that you see there it's a desire tree right so in the vedic scriptures we often hear of this word kalpa vriksha right so what does this mean this is like you imagine there's a tree where you go and ask something like you go to a mango tree and you ask for mangoes and then the tree gives you mangoes right but imagine the same tree gives you also gives you strawberries right or imagine the tree gives you money right imagine the tree gives you a house or anything that you desire so this is like a desire tree because the 11th house is the house where our hopes wishes aspirations desires are fulfilled okay so this is unanimously unequivocally the best transit okay so you got to understand that this transit happens only once in 12 years right and therefore now is the perfect time for you if you have any business idea you would like to you know open a startup or you would like to get a new job or you would like to get married because see the 11th house is the gain of the first house the lagna right and lagna controls all houses so it doesn't do any justice for me to say that you will have a gain in this area or that area because you can have gains in any area of your life depending on your dashas okay so if you are running the dasha of a planet which is in 7th house then now you might get married if you are running the dasha of a planet which is in the 5th house now you might uh, take up a new hobby okay or if you are running the dasha of a planet which is in the 10th house it can give you a lot of name fame in the career okay and apart from this because it is also the 8th lord for you so it can indicate a uh, sudden fame basically okay anything uh, where there is a loss initially you feel that oh my god everything is uh, going to fall off but then suddenly things will work in such a way that you will you will rise you will rise high as in the shrimad bhagavatam we have the example of dhruva maharaj right so when he went and fought with the yakshas so at a time the yakshas covered up his body with arrows right uh, but he he went out of all these arrows uh, and all the illusions posted by the yakshas just like the sun suddenly appears from the clouds okay so therefore because the aspect of jupiter is also on the 7th house there is a possibility if your dasha agrees you might get married jupiter also aspects the 5th house right so it could be possible that if you are in a relationship already you could uh try to take it to marriage okay so long term commitments could be there now jupiter is also aspecting the third house here so this is interesting so this shows that if you have any idea and if you have a business it's good to take it to social media right so try to make a website and you know make a logo and try to put it out there right and apart from this traditionally the 11th house is also the house of uh, gains but it's also the house of you know children also okay uh but fifth house is the core house of children and from the 11 jupiter aspects the fifth house right so if you are married already uh you could have a child um or you could also adopt if you wish uh, but there is a possibility that there is some interaction with children okay and then um because the 11th house is the house of income and the fifth house also shows creativity so there is a possibility that you could develop uh, a skill which gives you some kind of you know creative income basically right so maybe you you might like to paint so you might paint and you know upload those photos somewhere and somebody may buy it from you right uh, or you might upload videos you might sing you might dance and then people might contact you for some work and you might get paid right and apart from this because the 5th house and the 8th house are involved so there is also a possibility that you could go into stock market gains okay although uh, just be careful not to in invest in super risky assets all right so thank you taurus and wish you all the best so now is the time we go to gemini so for gemini no words this one it is happening in your 10th house and from the 10th house jupiter is aspecting your second house he's aspecting your fourth house and he's aspecting your sixth house and 
Jupiter is himself the 10th Lord for you and he's also the Lord of the 7th house, right? So if you see, I have this royal chair, right? So this is actually a significator of the, the, the royal kingdom basically, right? Now, of course, there are very few kingdoms left in today's world. Mostly it's a democracy in most of the parts of the world. But um, you got to understand that even if it is democracy, you know, um, the highest representative, the prime minister or the chancellor or the president is like the king almost, right? Uh, he or she has a lot of powers, right? So now the 10th house is the midhaven. It's the house where sun obtains directional strength, okay? So therefore, it could be possible that you are associated with some kind of royalty, okay? And by royalty, I don't mean royalty on a business sense, right? We know what is royalty on a business sense. But when I say royalty, I mean to say that there could be a situation where the boss in your company could favor you by giving a big promotion, okay? Uh, it's much more than what you expected. So you might feel, oh, as if I have become like associated with royalty, right? It's like a big chair. You feel you will be in a big chair. Then there could be awards because Jupiter is the natural significator of awards. Uh, and the 10th house signifies awards because it shows achievements and recognition, right? So therefore, uh, this is a very interesting time uh, to... Uh, explore your life explore different areas of your life and see where you can give your best okay now apart from this because the fourth house is receiving the aspect of uh, jupiter so it could also be possible that you would also venture into real estate right that is also possible uh, depending on your horoscope of course or you could also go for a property purchase then the other possibility is uh, because the fourth house is involved along with the sixth house. So there's a possibility that you could get into edutainment, right? So it could happen that you have some um, skill and you want to educate others. Uh, and then you could do it in such a way that people feel, wow, this is like, you know, entertainment plus education together. So that's like edutainment. So if you have any skill, then do not shy out do not shy off and just go there in the world and express yourself all right and um, if you are a businessman then uh, there could be expansion right you might expand from one to two to three offices and jupiter also is the significator of multiplicity take into consideration okay so <clears throat> you are expanding from one to many because the seventh house is also involved here as you can see right and also um, the seventh house is also the house of mergers, right? So things could merge, okay? So it could happen hypothetically. If you have two YouTube channels with different topics, you could open a third YouTube channel where the audience from both the YouTube channels follow you, okay? And along with this, the 10th house is also the house of focus, okay? Because now uh, it's the house of uh, success right success only comes when you focus day in and day out it's the house of consistency it's the house of skill so basically the thumb uh, thumb rule for this transit for gemini is that you have to upgrade yourself right so now is the time that you go to the next level now is the time that you uh, take things to the next level now is the time that you understand that i am not going to stay where I am, right? I will go to the next level and I will advance irrespective of whatever the challenge is because I will get success because this transit is going to help me, all right? So therefore, keep your focus, learn the new technologies, learn how the world operates, become more skillful, enlighten others, educate others, expand yourself and thereby go to the next level and be the king or the queen of course all right so thank you gemini wish you all the best so now is the time we go to cancer ascendance right so what about cancer so cancer ascendance this transit is happening in your ninth house and this aspects your first house the third house and the fifth house and 
Jupiter is the lord of your sixth house and the ninth house itself, right? So the third house and the ninth house are classic houses of travel and education basically, right? So therefore, um, you can see this uh, lady who might have you know graduated. And then the ninth house is also uh, the house of uh, higher education, okay? So you could be doing a ma uh, master's or a PhD <clears throat> uh, depending on your profession and your situation. And also third house also shows, you know, writing uh, journals and journal papers and all this, right? So therefore, uh, this transit for cancer is very important if you want to pin down your ideas, basically, right? Either it is through a YouTube channel or through writing a book or it could be, you know, through a podcast or through a website or through vlogging or whatever, uh, through any other means, right? So you could be, uh, you could also become a mentor basically, right? Men you could offer uh, mentorship services. You could offer uh, tutoring one-to-one, one-to-many, right? And along with this, uh, because the lagna is involved, right? So therefore, it's imperative that you try to connect to your roots, okay? Because... Uh, Connecting to the roots will help you identify who you are. So you are very lucky that this transit is happening in your trines, okay? Because uh, Jupiter's transit in trines is considered to be very auspicious. Do you know the result, uh, the reason why? Because from the trines, either the ninth or the fifth, it always aspects your first house, right? So the first house shows your uh, inner purpose in life, okay? And uh, the first house is the house um, where you actually find yourself, right? Because first house is uh, the lagna, basically. It's the um, ascendant, right? It is representing you, basically. It represents every individual. Individuality is seen from the ascendant, okay? So therefore, uh, this transit is anyways very important for you, but... You got to understand that Cancer is a very special ascendant. Why? Because Cancer is uh, that zodiac sign where this planet, Jupiter, whose transit we are discussing today, gets exalted, right? So exaltation represents planetary dignity. It's known as Uccha in Vedic Astrology, okay? So it shows very high dignity, okay? So... So therefore, because Cancer is in your first house, so Jupiter gets exalted in your first house, okay? And there is also something known as Digbala in Vedic Astrology, which is, you know, directional strength, which is like the planet's power to exert itself. So Jupiter also gets directional strength in the first house, right? So Cancer is a very special ascendant because... If a Cancer Ascendant has an exalted Jupiter, it is not only exalted, but it is also in Digbala because the exaltation is in the first house itself, right? Of course, now Jupiter is not exalted, but it is still aspecting your first house, right? So therefore, you might, um, you might take a moment to sit and find your inner purpose in life, you know, your true calling basically. Why are you existing in this world? Are you just existing or are you still or are you also living with it, right? There's a difference between existing and living. So therefore, try and think what would you like to do in this world? How can you make this world a better place? And along with this, Jupiter also is your sixth lord, okay? So the sixth house shows our weaknesses basically and Jupiter can help us achieve sense self-control, sense control. And as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, now the mind is the uh, the king of all the senses, right? And the mind is like the seat. It's like uh, the throne of all the senses. So Krishna says in the Gita that you can control the mind by two ways. You know, one is practice and detachment, right? Abhyas and Tyaga. So therefore, do Tyaga or... Uh, abstain from things which pull you down right and then along with that practice and perfect yourself in things that you are good at right so it's an excellent time for cancer wish you all the best and thank you
All right, now we go to Leo Lagna, Leo Ascendance. So what's going on with Leo? This is a very interesting time for Leo because your 8th Lord is transiting in the 8th house now. Okay, so Jupiter is going to transit your 8th house and he's the Lord of the 5th house also along with being the Lord of the 8th house, right? Uh, so now from the 8th house, uh, Jupiter aspects your 12th house. He aspects your second house and also he aspects your fourth house, right? So the eighth house is a very interesting house. It can be very good or it can be very difficult, okay? Uh, but we will discuss today how you can use this to the best of your capacity, okay? So this transit of Jupiter can give you a lot of sudden gains, okay? Because... The eighth house deals with sudden gains. Okay, so that depends on your dasha. So, for example, if you are running a, um, a mahadasha of a planet which is in the eleventh house, then you could end up gaining a lot of things, right? So, if the fourth house is involved, you could gain some uh, property from your family, right? You know, some inheritance, right? Eighth house, eighth house is also inheritance, right? So, depending on the horoscope, it will be decided what it will be. Okay. But you got to understand that uh, Jupiter is also aspecting the 12th house, right? So 12th house can show business expenses, okay? So this can mean that you are actually expanding, you know, you are taking your business to the next level basically, okay? So there could be some business expenses, so don't mind. Uh, think that this is something which is required, okay? Do not see them as losses, see them as expenditure. And apart from this, you can also... Uh, gain in the stock market okay um, because whenever the fifth and the eighth houses are involved uh, we always have the stock markets association with it okay uh, but be careful that you do not invest in super risky or you know very volatile assets okay and along with this uh, it, it is also possible that you can get some help or you could get some loan from your you know family members or your in-laws okay why family members because from the eighth it aspects the second house right so the second house is the house uh, of your family members and the eighth house itself is the house of in-laws right so therefore the possibility is uh, very high when you say you know so instead of going to the bank and taking a loan for you know buying a house or buying a car why not you know ask uh, from any senior within your family right so they can also help you with loans if you uh, require a loan of course now apart from this uh, research is very much in cards uh, on cards because the 8th and the 12th both the houses deal with research okay so you might be doing research in any field of your life you know or you could be learning things which are not generally learned by people right uh, for example you could also learn astrology uh, then because the fifth lord is transiting in the eighth house fifth house is also the house of love right love relationships um, so it, it could be possible that you might you know bump into somebody and you know you might uh, uh, fall in love with them and you might start a relationship right it's very very much probable but apart from this uh, you want to understand that uh, the fourth house is also involved right along with the eighth house so the fourth house and the eighth house together can give you research or it can also give you uh, some kind of introspection basically right so therefore uh, you got to understand that uh, as you can see in this pyramid, you know, that there are ideas, there is analysis, there is strategy, there is innovation, and finally there is success, right? So therefore, you got to struggle, you got to work hard, and then in, uh, along with that, you also got to introspect, do research, and if required, take help of your family members or in-laws, and by that, you will do very good, all right? So thank you, Leos. Wish you all the best. So now we go to... The next Virgo Ascendance, what about Virgo? So, Virgo Ascendance, the picture says it all, right? So for Virgo, this transit is happening in your seventh house. We all know what seventh house is, right? 
Seventh house is the house of marriage, love, relationships, uh, long-term commitments, uh, long-term bonds, right? So from the seventh, it aspects the eleventh house. It also aspects the lagna, and it also aspects the third house. Along with that, Jupiter is also your fourth lord and the seventh lord himself, right? So. If you are already in a relationship with somebody, then maybe it's now a good time to formalize it and get married and perform the Vivaha Samskara, okay, which is recommended in the Vedic scriptures. And apart from this, uh, it is also possible that uh, if you are running the Dasha of a planet, which is in a Artha house, like, you know, the second house, sixth house or tenth house, uh, you could be getting into business partnerships, right? Because they are houses deal with money, wealth, resources, right? So it's very much possible that you could get into business partnerships and uh, you might feel that, yes, now is the time that I need to expand basically, right? So I have to um, expand myself into different territories, right? Uh, into different places which I never thought that I will or i would have right so apart from this because jupiter aspects your first house the lagna itself so you could also become very conscious about your fitness your appearance uh, the way you look and uh, also your self-esteem or your image basically right mm, image in the sense you know what you might become very conscious of thinking what people think about you right or what people think of you so therefore um, you got to understand that the first house is involved so there will be some uh, there could be some changes in your appearance okay you could also gain weight if you are not careful so just keep that in mind along with that uh, the aspects are in the 11th house and also in the third house right so whenever the third house and the 11th houses are involved then it shows you know that your social media presence will increase right so uh, if if you are looking to uh, take your business online then now is the best time for you because now you will also uh, be able to capture the interest of the audience and gain social media presence okay also because the third house and the fourth house are involved there could be a change of residence okay and uh, it is possible that you might have this change of residence because of your marriage or because of your career or you know because of your education because all three houses are involved okay the third house the fourth house can show uh, education the seventh house can show marriage the eleventh house can show uh, finances right so because of all three purposes you might move to a different city move to a different country right and along with this because the lagna and the 11th house are involved then uh, it is possible that there could be national or state level or even best case scenario a fame up to international level okay because uh, jupiter is the karaka for uh, awards recognitions and uh, fame basically right so therefore if your horoscope indicates that you will get fame in the dasha maybe it is possible that now is the time you might get recognition internationally also okay uh, but this does not mean that you cannot get recognition within your own country but depending on your chart if your chart indicates you will stay in your homeland then it can happen in your homeland okay so if sun is also linked with that planet then it can show that you are getting uh name fame through the government okay some government awards recognition could be there okay so overall it's a very good time for virgos to expand to do vriddhi basically right because seventh house is vriddhi expansion okay so wish you all the best to virgos and now let us go to libra ascendance so for Libra Ascendance, this transit is happening in your 6th house. And from the 6th house, uh, Jupiter will be aspecting your 10th house and your 12th house and your 2nd house. 
and jupiter also lords your third and your sixth house right so the sixth lord is coming back to the sixth house so now you can see all these beautiful euro notes right this is very important because um, the second house and the sixth house and the tenth house the second sixth tenth are actually artha houses right uh, they represent uh, wealth they represent money they represent resources right now the tenth house also shows name fame power position authority right so all the three houses are involved here so therefore it is possible that uh, you might get a new job right you might look to switch your job or maybe you get uh, the first job or it could also happen that you get uh, a new job within your own company okay or you might get additional responsibilities and more payment it's possible so new job could come in either ways right and then because of the 10th house there could also be a promotion as i said uh, and it could be a big promotion okay it could be above expectation okay it is also possible of course that depends on your dashas and it will uh, depend on what is the level of the planet which is indicating success okay and it is also possible that you could go into you know managerial jobs it is very much possible okay then it is also possible that you could be self-employed during this time okay um, self-employment doesn't mean that you know you are fired from your job and you have no option so you are forcefully being self-employed no it doesn't mean that it means you can get you you would voluntarily you might want to start some business okay or some kind of consulting okay and uh, there could be you know multiple streams of income because jupiter is the significator of multiplicity so when he comes to the house of wealth it could happen that you know multiple streams of income will open up and there could be you know some something like side hustle and all this you know which will ultimately end up improving your net worth basically right so money can come in from uh, different sources so it's up to you how you uh, how you can use the money right and because the 12th house is involved so there will definitely be uh, some business expenses okay so jupiter is aspecting your 12th house so it does not mean it that it will give you a lot of expenses but it definitely means you will become very mindful okay so maybe now it's a good time to uh, use some uh, tracker basically right by which you can you know track your finances right uh, by which you can understand how much money is coming in how much money is going out and how much money i'm saving how much money i'm investing okay because many times people tell me that oh we are not able to we don't have any money right so then i ask them uh, because i look at their horoscope and i see that they have great potential to earn money but the problem is they're not able to save money right so therefore <coughs> uh, keep a watch on your expenses um, because now if you can plan things properly because virgo is the sign where you plan things okay so if you can plan things properly you can do things more systematically and then you will realize that uh, you can save much more okay within the same income and apart from this of course as we discussed earlier you can always you know uh, diversify your income get multiple streams of income and because the third house is also involved so it's very much possible that uh, you can get social media fame because of the association of the 10th house also so fame could come through social media something that you post in social media might you know go viral and end up giving you a lot of likes you know so that is very much possible and along with that you uh, <clears throat> you got to understand that there are um, so many new opportunities which could come in your financial front so keep your eyes open and ears alert okay so even if there is something which you can't do accept it and then you learn it and then uh, do it later on all right so thank you all the libras uh, wish you all the best now let us go to the next uh, scorpio all right scorpios <clears throat> so 
this transit of jupiter is happening in your fifth house and the picture is obvious right what is the fifth house fifth house is the house of childbirth and this jupiter from the fifth will aspect your ninth house the eleventh house and also your luck now jupiter is the lord of your second house and also the lord of your fifth house right so a very important transit because this is a transit of a trikona basically right so we know what are trikonas right trikonas are trines basically so the first fifth ninth are called the dharma trikonas right so therefore it's a very important time for you to understand your uh, purpose in life and to see what is in your best interests okay of course fifth house is the core house of children childbirth so if you are married then it's possible that you might uh, have a child uh, new child or if you already have children and you do not plan to have more then maybe it's a good time to sit with them try to understand them develop your relationship with them experience uh, them more right so it always does not mean that you have to have another chill child but it means now is the time that you have to focus on your children okay try to give them as much as you have been given by your father by your mother right why do i say father mother because the ninth house is involved the ninth house is the house of your father right so whatever you get from your parents you give it to your children that is how the society continues and then uh, because the second house is involved second law transiting in the fifth so <clears throat> this can mean you know that suddenly family has become a big priority for you okay so it could happen if your dasha is a bit difficult then it could happen there are certain problems which would come up in your family or it could happen you know there are some new opportunities which have come up in your family right so maybe the chances of um, getting into you know your family business or expanding your family business anything that uh, is already there okay within your family <coughs> and then of course fifth house is the uh, prime house of love relationships okay so if you already are in a relationship then because the 11th house is now involved and the 9th house is also the house of dharma and religion so maybe it could be a good time for you to uh, take the relationship to the next level and uh, get into a long term commitment with this person you know to get married maybe <coughs> and along with this because the lagna and the 11th house is are involved so therefore it's very highly probable that um, you might get some promotion okay so there could be some name fame power position authority and it is also very probable that there could be some awards recognitions and you know name fame uh, basically okay because jupiter is the default significator of awards and recognitions and the first and the 11th houses are also significators of awards and recognitions okay so that could happen so a big promotion could happen and also the 5th house is the 8th from the 10th house so it can show a change of job okay and along with this there could be speculative gains you know uh, there could be this um, gains because the fifth house is your ability to project the future okay and the 11th house is the gain right so it's like saying you can see the future so <clears throat> if you are into astrology maybe it's a good time you know to do some fantastic predictions right for individuals or for the world in general <clears throat> and you got to understand something very important here the fifth house is the 12th from the sixth house right so the sixth house is the house of your daily work profession basically so what does this mean the 12th house shows loss right so does it mean you will lose your job well definitely not it it can mean that uh there are certain other areas of life in your life uh, which might demand some more time and attention okay so therefore it could be a good time to you know go and 
do some education higher education or you know go and uh, take a vacation basically right so depending on your situation you might have to ask yourself you know what should be the best course of action for me so that i can rejuvenate myself all right so thank you scorpios and now is the time we go to the next which is you know sagittarius okay <clears throat> So for Sagittarius, this transit is happening in your fourth house, right? And from the fourth, it aspects the eighth, the tenth, and the twelfth. And Jupiter lords your first house, of course, because you are Sagittarius, right? And also the fourth house. So the picture seems to be quite self-evident, right? So the fourth house is the house of your mother of uh, motherly personalities it's the house of it's literally the house of house you know so it shows houses basically and it also shows the home basically okay so interior designing could be something which you might plan to do right so doing some renovations at your ho home or you might plan to buy a new home or yeah i mean you might plan to buy another home basically right another house so or you might get full-fledged into real estate right so that is also very much uh, probable and also depending on your horoscope uh, you could also go into purchasing vehicles right so if if uh, you are running the dasha of mars or saturn or any planet connected to that uh, by aspect or by conjunction then uh, you will most likely get into real estate but if you are running the dasha of a planet which is linked to venus and the fourth house then uh, it's probable that you might get into vehicles okay so therefore you also could have a chance where there is you know some sudden wealth coming in you know inheritance uh, from the family because eighth house is also the house of inheritance and along with that uh, because the twelfth house and the eighth house are involved so it could also take you to research okay uh, i won't say higher education necessarily always but it could be research that you do in any field like you know you could do research within your profession okay so it does not have to be like a legal legitimate degree itself it could be it could be anything but definitely it is some kind of research that you are doing okay <coughs> and along with that uh, there could be some sudden wealth as i said uh, wealth gain or you know some sudden opportunity could also come in your profession because of the 10th house right so along with this uh, the fourth house is also the house of education and skill basically okay so therefore it is important that you uh, look and try to analyze uh, which are the areas in your life where you need to develop skills okay so maybe it's time to develop a new skill set okay or maybe it's a time to uh, go and uh, change your profession right change your profession in the sense you know you you may change your profession <coughs> within your profession right you might change the work within your profession i mean so if you are into IT, you are into software development, you know, you might go and go into data science or, you know, you might go into networking, for example, or you might go into security, you know, or you might go into databases or big data, whatever. So, <clears throat> so therefore, uh, it's a very interesting time for you to figure out the basics in life, basically, okay. <clears throat> and because 10th house and the lagna are involved and they show name fame so there could be some big recognition intern uh, internationally also okay of course that depends on your dashas but uh, it is very much probable that you can have international recognition okay so learn the basics do research and uh, be aware of different opportunities which could come in real estate and try to learn more and more and try to upgrade yourself okay so that is how you will obtain success all right so thank you sagittarius now we go to capricorn so what's going on with capricorn 
So let us go to Capricorn. So what's going on for Capricorn? So for Capricorn, this transit is happening in your third house. And from the third house, Jupiter is aspecting your seventh house, your ninth house and your eleventh house. And Jupiter is your third lord and your twelfth lord also, right? So you can see this photo. It's quite self-explanatory, right? So you can see all the things related to social media that is mentioned here well we already know this right but how can we uh, understand this using astrology well see we know what social media so there are these buzzwords right seo blogging web and yahoo google all this we are very well aware of this but what we fail to understand is that we have the aspect of jupiter not only in the seventh but also in the eleventh so what is the seventh house the seventh house is the house of uh, vriddhi it's the house of expansion basically okay and the eleventh house is the house of gains fulfillment of desires wishes aspirations right hopes so therefore now is the time that we can expand our business and do networking because there's a very famous saying right which is your network is your net worth right so therefore if you feel that you are not having a good net worth right net worth is basically the sum of all the assets that you have right so in that case you might have to do some networking right so contact somebody who is already there where you want uh, through social media right um, then you could also build your website right because um, nowadays if you do not have a website then yes very soon we might be out of business right so therefore you could also act as a freelancer to make websites for others or for your own business you can make your website and also the third house represents interviews okay so if you are aiming for uh, the top 10 companies of the world like you know google facebook amazon microsoft uh, tesla and all this then well maybe now is the best time for you to give that uh, most awaited application and then who knows you might be selected for an interview right and also uh, you could also uh, become an author you could write a book why do i say this because uh, the ninth house and the third house both are involved okay because the ninth house so shows education that you get from somebody some senior okay or somebody who is more experienced than you and uh, the third house shows that knowledge which uh, you give to others okay it's the house of guru desh basically okay so therefore uh, it is it is imperative that you not only get can gain knowledge but you also give out knowledge okay and also higher education could be on cards because uh, the ninth house is involved okay and along with this there is also a possibility that you could get the visa for a particular country if you apply right if you have the need to go then why not apply and get the visa now if you already have the visa you could get an extension or a resident permit or resident permit is rp and you could also get a pr permanent residency right if you have fulfilled the necessary uh, criteria and the qualifications okay who knows you might win that you know famous lottery you know in some countries for pr um, green card blue card or any color card right <laughs> And if you already are a PR uh, holder, then yeah, you might also get the citizenship. Okay. So now I'm not endorsing that you should uh, change your citizenship, but just in case you are, uh, you are at that stage where you feel, okay, now I need the citizenship of this country, you know, because I've stayed here, I've paid tax, you know, social security contributions. And you are also Capricorn luck now by any chance, then yes, why not? You can apply and you can try out your luck, okay? And because the third and the ninth and the twelfth deal with foreign lands, and the eleventh house deals with employment, so there are also employment opportunities which could open up for you uh, in foreign lands, all right? So apply and get 
network with people increase your net worth make a website crack that interview pin down your thoughts as an author get the higher education and pr or citizenship and prosper okay thank you now is the time we move to aquarius what about aquarius what's going on in the life of aquarius we see gold oh my god gold and money is raining down right well uh, depends on your chart now let's see for aquarius this transit is happening in your second house right second house is the house of sanchit dhan it's the house of your net worth okay which is like you know the sum of uh, all the assets that you own right money vehicles uh, uh, real estate uh, minus uh, all your liabilities of course right <laughs> or nowadays you know crypto or any other kind of assets like nfts and all this also stocks uh, yeah so from the second it aspects your uh, sixth house your eighth house and the tenth house and jupiter is your second lord and he's also your 11th lord so 11th lord coming into the second house right second lord coming to second house so this is fabulous for wealth uh jupiter also can show see the second house is also the house of jewelry right so therefore uh it could also mean that you know you are buying gold or you are buying jewelry no it could also be digital gold it could be you know the um, sovereign gold bonds you know which government gives you i mean at least in india or anything related to gold right um so um, gold could be a very essential part of your net worth and along with this we know right the second house is also the house of family uh, it's the house of marriage and child but also because it's like an addition so whenever jupiter transits the second house it expands your family right so that could mean you know a new member your spouse is coming to your family or it could also mean you know uh, you're married and there's a child birth right or maybe you could have a second or third child or maybe it could also mean that you are uh, taking some time off and you are focusing on your family okay so depending on your horoscope it will be decided now the best part is he's your 11th lord in the second and he's also aspecting your 10th house right so this can be a very potent time for promotion this can also be a very great time uh, to gain some income from a side hustle right uh, you could do some kind of consulting as a side hustling right uh you could also focus on implementation because the 6th house is involved okay so whenever the 6th house is involved along with the 8th house then uh giving lectures won't help making powerpoint presentations won't help right the only thing that will help you is gross implementation of your ideas the physical manifestable tangible ideas uh, the manifestation has to take place for the ideas otherwise they will just remain on paper right and they will not do much good for you so therefore if you have a idea then immediately make a logo make a website you know launch a product or just implement it don't just think okay you may or may not be successful but if you keep thinking then you are anyways never going to be successful right and because the 6th and the 8th houses are involved so it's a good time for you to uh, see uh, what kind of food are you eating right the second house is the house of food and also the sixth house is the house of diseases uh, okay so therefore uh, make sure you are eating the right kinds of food and um, avoiding things which you should not eat okay so apart from this um, as i said earlier you could diversify your income to different assets right so depending on your uh, financial situation your age and your goals you can always consult a financial advisor wealth planner and do that which is needful so essentially for aquarius it's a time to increase your net worth by diversification and of course work hard and keep your diet in check all right now let us go to pisces what's going on with pisces the last 
So for Pisces, this transit is in none other than your Lagna itself, the first house, right? It's a very interesting transit for you. Jupiter transits your ascendant. It is like um, having Jupiter in the first for one year, right? So this is giving you a very, very, very powerful uh, yoga. It's uh, the Mahapurush yoga, right? Which Jupiter gives. It's the Hansa Mahapurush yoga. Of course, uh, this yoga has to be there in the horoscope, in your birth chart, of course. But you could uh, understand it's as if like, you know, Jupiter is giving you a Mahapurush yoga for one year. Okay. So from the first, it aspects your fifth, seventh and ninth houses. And he's the lord of your 10th house and the Lagna itself. Okay. So you can see the crown. Okay. Which is there in the photo. So 10th lord transiting in the Lagna. It's like. It's like the greatest opportunity for you to get name, fame, power, position, authority. Okay, And uh, you could be in a very big leadership position because the first house, 10th house, 5th house, all of these show authority and leadership positions. Okay, so very big leadership positions. <clears throat> uh, you could also get awards you know, because the first house and the 10th house are significant of awards and Jupiter is also the planet which signifies awards, okay? So there could be some huge recognition for you, okay? And the first house is the first house uh, for every other house, right? <laughs> so this means that when Jupiter transits your first house, you try to focus on every area of your life, okay? Now, of course, you can't focus on every area at a time. It's not possible, but... It means that you sit and you meditate and you try to figure out where you are where you are doing good and where do you need to put more efforts, right? <clears throat> because there could be certain things in your life which you are doing because of which you know there is imbalance and then that is effect ending up affecting some other area in your life which is you know not giving you uh, good results overall, okay? So therefore now is the time that you should uh, focus on uh, building your life okay so take those habits you know get up in the morning chant some mantras take a cold water bath uh, do some exercise uh, go to the gym early in the morning you know read the bhagavad gita read the Srimad bhagavatam uh, read you know inspirational books you know on wealth finance health management you know people inspirational personalities from the epics also the Rama and the Mahabharat so take inspiration from great souls who lived in this world uh, some time back and find your life purpose you know and then by that you dominate now who do you dominate do you dominate uh, other people well not really you got to dominate your own weaknesses right so that is why i have written dominance you might think that oh i will go on dominating others you know so no that is not something which is recommended but it is imperative that we uh, dominate our own weaknesses okay and along with that uh, fitness is always on cards because of this transit since uh, this transit is in your lagna and the lagna deals with appearance and your image and what you think you are, what people think you are, okay? Of course, we also have the concept of Arudhas, which literally show, you know, what people think of you. But in general, you know, the Lagna gives the first impression, okay? So you could work in ways, you know, by which you can give a better first impression to people, you know. If you have some problem in communication, you could take up some course and learn communication, for example. You could uh, dress well, you could, you know, uh, be in proper shape. So these are things you could do. So overall, this transit is excellent for you once in 12 years. And it is going to give you all round success depending on your efforts and depending on your horoscope. So do not waste time and don't lose opportunity. So wish you all the best for all the Pisces. Thank you.